This video explains how to build a precast thin brick panel. This is our panel frame, actually an empty kiln car frame. And as you can see here as we zoom in, we've used uh, metal measuring tapes, adhesive tapes, uh, one located on either side of the frame and uh, the tapes are used to strike reference lines to make a panel that looks like an actual brick wall so we keep things level and straight and square. These are the actual brick that we laid into the precast panel. On top of the pile here you see 90 degree corners uh, these are dovetailed units, and they're velored, three-quarters of an inch thick. On the bottom layer, you see stretchers of that same brick, and as you can see, they are also dovetailed as well. This device is a laser line device made with a laser module, a three-volt battery box, and two AA batteries and it strikes a line across a straight line across the frame. You turn the lights out here so you can see get a better look at what this thing does and it allows us to lay our brick uh, flat and what, what turns out to be level once we stand the wall up. But uh, there's the, the red light is fairly well fairly visible here in this in this shot and you can see as we zoom in on this side of the frame that the light carries to the other side so it's a it's a pretty nice way to to strike a straight line. This is our paper clay material and this actually becomes the molding material itself. Paper clay is cellulose insulation fibers, powdered clay, and water. And it's flexible and it's very very nice to work with. So here the guys are beginning to lay out a thin layer of paper clay in the bottom of our of our of our frame here, uh, bottom of our form, and um, what's necessary is to get the paper clay to a uniform depth throughout because the paper clay actually creates the joint effect in the thin brick panel. So it's very important that it's a uniform depth across the entire frame. So here's the beginnings of laying the thin brick out. You can see the laser line there is turned on and it's striking a straight line. And, and uh, it, Terry's working out some depths there with a little feeler gauge to make sure that the paper clay is at the right depth while Tim is using some rods to draw the clay out to about a quarter of an inch thickness, uniform thickness. The rods are actually embedded in the clay right now. Kind of difficult to see in this shot but uh, maybe you get to see those a little bit later. So here's the car with uh, everything almost completely laid out. And Joe is pressing uh, on a flat piece of metal that helps to seat the thin brick into the paper clay. The paper clay is still wet, and it's, it's important that it remains wet throughout this process so that the brick are somewhat adjustable. And um, you'll see here some of the guys are working the back of the joint to make sure that the joint has a uniform appearance. And again, the amount of paper clay that squeezes up between these thin brick creates the joint effect. So that's what you're looking at right here. Uh, again, there's a laser line showing the line that struck across the panel. Here is the car that's completed. And the first step here uh, after the, the brick are laid in the frame is to pour some mortar up behind it. So we're mixing the mortar there in the mixer. And this uh, next shot here shows pouring the mortar on the backs of the brick in the thin brick panel. Kind of laying it out there and starting to starting to spread this stuff and to make sure that it looks nice and neat uh, nice and neat and even is happening right here in this one. And all we re we're really doing with this mortar is making sure that the joint is filled. 
so that when the panel is raised what you're going to see as a joint is the mortar and not the concrete that will be pouring up behind it. So the first layer is a mortar mix which is basically sand and cement. Now this is rebar and uh, reinforced wire mesh. Uh, they've cut a hole into the uh, frame to insert this so that it, it, uh, it, it hangs over both ends of the, of the frame itself and they will then uh, patch those grooves up with duct tape and a little insert so that when they pour the concrete up behind it uh, it will not leak out of the form liner. So it's kind of a nice thing and the hooks as you can see sticking out the top there, the far end of that panel, will be used to raise the panel to vertical once the um, concrete has cured Here's the concrete truck backing up to the door. There's our panel waiting for the concrete, and there's a screed board across it. And the next shot here is going to show the pouring of the concrete. And this stuff has a plasticizer in it. The idea is to uh, make it as self consolidating as possible because we are not going to vibrate this panel. Um, this particular bit of concrete uh, finished very nicely as you'll see in just a moment it was a little on the dry side so it had the plasticizer in it though and it made it, it but it did make it flow the plasticizer made it flow although the initial stages moving it around uh, were a little bit uh, more difficult than we would have liked we would have liked it to flow better into the form so we're beginning to screed it and again, this is uh, you know, the mortar's already in there, and so the concrete actually uh, is now around the rebar, the reinforcing rods that are in there. So I'm going to finish that panel off, and here is the smooth back of the panel. This was done on Monday, November first. So on. Friday, November 5th, we continued with the, the next stage. And the next stage was, of course, removing the panel, now cured from the mold. And so we used two forklifts, and we were glad that it stayed in one piece. That was a nice, it was a nice thing. And uh, the next step then was to uh, remove it and, and take it someplace to be cleaned. But we noticed that uh, we also had some paper clay down in the in the form liner here and it was interesting to note that it still retained most of its moisture didn't lose a whole lot of moisture over that four days of of curing and then we cleaned the panel with a hose and a brush no no high pressure necessary here to get the paper clay out still very soluble in water here's a look at the wet panel just freshly cleaned and here's how the panel looks in its current uh, temporary installation at plant five. We'll take a little walk around um, the panel to get a look at, you know, at, at some of the detail. This video is not as good as it could be, but uh, we were pleased in general with with how the panel turned out. Uh, we we're pleased, especially with the materials in that uh, the paper clay kept the mortar from the faces of the brick and uh, that, that everything washed off very cleanly and we have some ideas that uh, will make this look even better going forward.